Today is organizing the living room day. Well, carpet cleaning day, rugs cleaning day. And I also got an exciting package. I'm going to be organizing all of my Nespresso pods into categories. And I'm also gonna do a little restock because we're running out really low here. Also, now that the couch is out of the way, you guys can see the dog cage so much better. It's so cute, like so cute. Right now, Mio is in timeout because Mio has yet to follow the instructions on not to pee on things. Him out of all, both dog spends most of the time in this little crate but this is the cutest cage ever i literally love it it's so modern so chic so nice blends in with all the furniture and stuff i will link it down below it's all of our pods i keep them in here which i also need to organize this but this is like skincare products and for the most part everything else is organized but look how many pods i have i know i know i literally have accumulated so much so quickly and i didn't even realize i had this many and they're not organized they're not into categories and i just thrive when things are super duper organized so we're gonna categorize this into different categories and I got different containers for that from Amazon which is crazy because I ordered it yesterday and it already came today so let's open it perfect this is literally perfect because i can fit them each different category i can fit them into these little pods which is gonna be amazing and they're also stackable which is why i got them because i wanted stackable containers so i hope that this is enough i got 16 i don't know if i have 16 different pods maybe i do maybe i don't so here are all of the 16 containers laid out and I'm so so happy that they're stackable. Now let's go bringing them one by one. That way we can tackle them one at a time and not feel overwhelmed. So let's do one at a time. So this is what everything is looking like so far. This is the only thing that fit. I did order two more of these, which sounds crazy, but I got basically another set of this because I didn't realize there's still so many pods left. So I don't have enough. Again, this is stackable, so they're gonna fit really well. So I'm gonna organize it with what I have here in the closet, and then I'll see how many can fit, which I'm sure the other ones can fit, but it looks so nice and neat. I'm so excited. <laughs> So this is what it looks like inside of the pantry and I love it. You guys, literally a perfect fit. So like I mentioned, I ordered two more. So right now I have eight across and these are the two packs, right? So I got two packs, one pack comes with eight and I ordered two more so I can put one more on top. So that would be another eight and then I'm thinking of doing one more here and one more in this corner, it will fit. And so I'm gonna do 10 rolls across of three. So I think that will be perfect and then the extra ones I'll use it for like makeup or something for my storage bins or i can use it for the freezer i'll have like maybe four left if i'm doing my math correctly but it looks so good and it's going to be so much more easier to restock the coffee cart whenever i need to do that and i am not buying any more coffee pods until i finish this thankfully my husband has been drinking some and also my parents whenever they come over they each get one so 
they're not going to waste don't worry we love coffee over here so i made a little discovery you guys i did not think that four were gonna fit on top of each other and it actually was a perfect fit look how nice and so i'm gonna put the other two packs on this side and get rid of these two extra ones here it looks so much better because now i can literally see every single pod and know where to go instead of like rambling through all of these to restock the coffee cart it's just gonna make so much more sense and it's gonna be nice and neat i love it i love it i'm so excited so it is now a few days later and i wanted to show you guys the completed look i didn't show it to you guys when i got the other storage containers i also ended up moving them a shelf down just so that it's eye level because up here was a little too high to be pulling them out whenever i needed to restock but here is the final look it looks so good and i ended up using the other four containers for whatever i had down here it also worked perfectly so the pantry is looking beautifully organized i'm so happy this you guys are you kidding me game changers i tried to color coordinate because that's just, it's just more pleasing to the eye you know and so i tried to do that but it looks so good this is the final look of my coffee pot huge transformation from before that's for sure here's what I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using Kirkland's apple cider vinegar and it has the mother that is very important the very popular brand is Bragg I have that one too this one's already open because I take it in the morning sometimes when I remember I'm trying to do it more consistently but apple cider vinegar is so good for you so I will put half of this in a mason jar I have a lot of hair so I literally put half of this in the mason jar and well maybe not half Maybe not half, maybe about this much. That's definitely a lot, and it already made my bathroom stir. But it's cool. I'm used to it. I'm gonna put some water in this. It's easier to do it in a spray bottle, but I don't like using spray bottles anymore because the smell stays on the little applicator, and then when I go use it for regular water, I can't get rid of it. So this is what I'm gonna use in my hair. I'm gonna let that sit. I'm not gonna shampoo my hair or anything like that. I'm gonna use this to detangle my hair and then I will shampoo and condition. I just got out of the shower and my shirt is soaking wet, but I don't feel like changing into another shirt. So we're just gonna hide it with our hair. Okay guys, so I have a couple of products here that I got from Target. This chair is so annoying, I need to fix it. So I'm sorry for all the squeaking that you guys are about to hear. So I went to Target, like I mentioned, I got a couple of hair products. Well, I got two deep conditioners and a style that I really wanted to try out. And then I also got this super cute bowl for food and like salads and stuff. So I thought it was really pretty. Okay, so this one is from Camille Rose and it literally just spilled and put some on the ends. Wow, my shirt absolutely looks ridiculous. So this is the Camille Rose Fresh Honey Nectar Deep Conditioning Treatment. I have never tried this before. It probably could have been a new product release because I have not seen it. And then I also picked this one up, which I'm also just like really tempted to use this one. This is the Curls Dynasty Pumpkin Mint Deep Conditioning Treatment. And I thought it was fitting because we're still in the fall spirit. So we might use this one today between these two and then maybe we can go live and do this one and then the last product that I picked up was from on Jackie's and it was a new release I haven't seen this before either it's from their aloe and mint recipe line and this is the pattern perfecting pudding it's supposed to hydrate shine and define your curls definition you got me sold I will totally try it out at this point my shirt is just gonna completely change color in front of you guys but let's go ahead and start deep conditioning now I'm gonna go with the pumpkin one because I feel like we're right in season I hope it's it smells like pumpkin. Let's see, actually. I get a little bit of mint, and then I also get a little bit of pumpkin. It's kind of weird. Like, it's confusing my senses right now. But you can see, like, the little flecks inside, which do remind me of, like, pumpkin spice when I do my coffee and just put, like, the pumpkin spice on it. So, so I will really be putting this to the test today because I did not condition my hair in the shower. So I forgot to bring a conditioner. I was too focused on apple cider vinegar stuff that I didn't bring a actual conditioner. So I just rinsed my hair with apple cider uh, vinegar and then I shampooed my hair with the 
what is it called? The Shea Mo the Shea Moisture the Shea Moisture Coconut Milk Shampoo. I thought I had the conditioner in there, but apparently I don't have any more. This is fun. You guys are getting like a little mask Monday in a vlog. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this curls dynasty now i've never tried anything from curls dynasty before i don't know if they're like a sofa free brand sofa paraben and all that stuff even though like i follow it but then sometimes i don't oh it is perfect it has no sulfates no parabens and no serpents can't read cool so if you guys are very into the curly girl method which i don't know if you guys are do you guys still follow it the curly girl method those that have been following me for a while you know that i use silicones every here and there but i do stay away from sulfates and like parabens and stuff sometimes i don't follow it to the core like i used to when i first transitioned over but i'm curious to know what you guys are looking for when you're looking for ingredients are you like hardcore staying to those absolute no-no and like mineral oils and stuff like that let me know because i want to know what you guys are using i'm gonna go ahead and just generously apply this so my hair does feel like soft I, I don't know how I feel about the smell to be honest it's a little loud like it's a little powerful it does feel like it feels nice you know wow that feels nice so this section right here I'm gonna split it into two and I'm gonna finger coil it again I do this so that I can have more definition and my curls can be more manageable right now it's in the 50s but once it hits the 40s i will start deep conditioning again with heat because i feel like in the winter time our curls get really really dry so it's very important to deep condition more frequently and more intentionally so i like to add some heat to my hair it really does hydrate the curls i'm interested to see how it's going to look once i rinse it out because again i did not condition my hair today and I never do this. I always have to, have to condition my hair even if I know I'm deep conditioning after. I finished applying all of the deep conditioner to my hair and I just threw it up in the little claw clip I'm gonna go ahead and put a plastic cap on my head and I'll put a heating cap that I think I have still I think so I have to look for it I haven't used heat in a while pop that sucker in the microwave for like a minute or something and then I'll leave it on my hair while I just start editing some content so I am deep conditioning outside the weather is nice it's like in the what's the weather let me check before I like make up a number. It's currently midnight, by the way. I've been here for like two and a half hours. It's currently 51 degrees and I have my heated blanket on me. Well, you can't really see it because, oh, there it is, yay. Here's my heated blanket that I have on and I'm outside watching, I don't even know what movie this is. I think it's called The Holiday or something. So I'm watching the movie and I'm also editing and I'm also planning, wait, you guys can't see, there we go. And I'm also like planning out my day and I'm literally just chilling here. It's such a nice, beautiful night. So I'm definitely gonna stay here as long as I can because it's so nice outside and the pillow keeps falling, but I have this pillow that I keep in the back and then I have my speakers that I keep like right next to me. So I'm the only one that can listen to the movie, which is nice because I'm not disturbing anybody in the community. I think I'm going to stay up here like until I can, probably like two, three in the morning, just watching movies and just editing, but also like having some me time, some quiet time, some Jesus time, you know? I also wanna start digitally planning, like with an actual planner. So I was on Etsy and I got a couple, I got like two of them, different planner. It's actually a little bit more complicated than it seems. So I'm gonna take some time to kind of figure that out. But I also wanna put my computer to the test. So I also am probably just gonna continue editing. I'm definitely gonna be leaving this in my hair overnight. I am not in the mood to like get my hair wet and do it and all that stuff no we could do that tomorrow is another day i am in the mood to just hang out by myself and enjoy my company hey guys it's the next day now and i am in the car because my children have no food it's been got out of work early today 
and so I <laughs> he like scared me I was like what the heck are you doing here I didn't even know you were coming home at this time we're starting our weekend nice and early it is currently two o'clock today on a Friday afternoon I made my iced coffee which I finished apparently my recipes have been becoming much better because now my husband actually likes my coffee and he never ever he's not a coffee drinker he doesn't like coffee and I really like the Orafio pod from Nespresso and so he has been enjoying it every time I do that I like make it for myself he's been drinking it and I'm like like I wanted him to like my coffee but now I'm becoming a little stingy because he doesn't ask for his own cup he would just drink mine and I'm just like dude I can make you your own coffee because I really like that one but I'm happy that he's liking coffee because I think it's something nice to like bond over you know and it's funny because I went to Starbucks like two days ago and the coffee just did not slap you guys like it it did not taste good it's literally what I always order but maybe because I've been getting used to my own recipe at home maybe that's why I'm like not into the other coffee anymore but that's good I guess because I've spent so much money on espresso pods that like I might as well just take advantage and like do it at home but anyways on my way to Petco and Trader Joe's so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me today my hair is in a low bun I rinsed off the deep conditioner and I wanted to show you guys the results but I didn't have enough time again my husband just came home and I was just like let me just hurry up and do my errands so yeah I have my hair in a bun I have no product in it but I did rinse out the deep conditioner I definitely think that deep conditioner was more of like a strengthening one because my hair didn't feel so saw guys like my hair felt like it needed a moisturizing treatment afterward and I think that's because one I probably wasn't supposed to leave it in for that long I left it overnight because I stood up editing to like 2 30 in the morning and I was just chilling outside like I literally was just chilling outside I was not trying to wet my hair so today I rinsed it off probably at like 12 ish or 1 so it's been in my hair for a minute so it's been in my hair for a minute and maybe that's why my hair doesn't feel as like soft How cute is this? I don't know if I'm crazy about those colors, but are you kidding me? I can't. Let's see. Because I usually get them the royal canine food, something like that, specifically for Yorkies. So, found it. So, this is a brand that we give them, and they have the ones for Yorkies. Oh my god, where's my Yorkie food? Oh wow, they just have one. This is what we give them. It's $51.99 for 10 pounds. It's not that bad. Trying to see what snack I can give for them because I like a chew stick. We don't really give them chew sticks because I don't really know what causes Milo to lose his hair. So we've always kind of st stayed away from sticks, but it's also good for their teeth. So I'm gonna see if I can find something for them. Let me see if they have some more over here. Pasty treats, premium dog. Maybe like this. I don't know. We got him one one time that he really liked, but I don't remember which one it was. There's so many different options here. If you guys have any good recommendations for like sticks for Yorkies that are like not full of toxic stuff, let me know. I'm in the hunt for some new treats for the dogs and like sticks and stuff. I ended up going with these. I don't know. If you guys have tried these, let me know what I went with. So we are actually going to go home. Well, I'm actually going to go home because it was just me that came today to get the dogs their treats. Ew, that doesn't taste good anymore. Gross. But the plans have changed and I'm actually going to go back home now instead of going to Trader Joe's. And my husband and I are going to go downtown to our jeweler. And I'll bring you guys along with us because... He is the best. That's literally where I get all of my jewelry from. His name is Tommy. I have a couple bracelets that broke and I need to get them fixed. But I also want to change the band of my 
first engagement ring. So it's this one. I have been wearing it a lot more lately because it's so much more simpler. He got it for me in silver. I'm not a silver person. I am a gold person. So then we got it dipped in gold, but it's obviously not 14 karat gold. So it fades and it has faded a lot and I don't like that look. So what we're gonna do instead is just change the band completely and I think I wanna go for something super simple. Because my other ring is like so dramatic, I want this one to be a little bit more simple. So probably a solid band and then just the diamond on top. I don't want anything like too much. We're gonna keep this band for our daughter one day whenever we have you know kids we'll keep it for like our first born daughter and she can have it as a memory We literally never come down here unless it's to go to the jeweler. So he discovered this like dumpling spot from somebody that was in the jewelers. And ever since then, he has been like addicted to these. So it's a treat every time we come down here. But we are also gonna get some Prince Street pizza, which that's what like the people are online for. That pizza is literally so, so good. So if you're from New York City, make sure you try out Prince Street pizza because it's so, so, so good. So my husband's online and I stayed in the car because you can't park here. I'm in a no parking zone. So we got all of our like jewelry pieces repaired, which was really my bracelet that broke. And I also had my necklace that broke so he got to fix that and then i just got some earrings the whole reason why we came down here is because i was telling you guys earlier briefly about my engagement ring that my husband got me the first one so we are changing the entire ring we're just keeping the diamond and we saw the bed in person which is such a beautiful it's so beautiful super slim so different from my other ring it's super thin like super dainty and it has like little tiny tiny diamonds around it so it sparkles and i'm so excited I I cannot wait to get it like I'm literally so freaking excited to see it to see what it's gonna look like it's gonna take about two to three weeks but once it's ready I'm like gonna show you guys of course and I'm so excited